spell. What? Brad! <sighs> what the? Hey, man. Where have you been, Jeez. buddy? What? Oh my, what a what a story. I got chased by bandits. They kidnapped me, tied me up in a chair, tried to torture me. It was horrible. Luckily, I stabbed and escaped, ran out, caught a helicopter, flew all the way over here. The helicopter blew up. I landed in the water, swam half a mile, ran three miles, and finally found you after tracking your footprints. Right. Well, in that time, I... Uh... By that, I mean I went camping for a couple days and just up. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> well, I bought this house, all right? It's nice and comfy. Okay. Um, there's no room for you. So I was thinking we could just, you know, there's this house over here. We could buy this for you. They're pretty cheap That's because they're true. outside the safe zone. The only problem is every now and then you get a few zombies. In fact, there's one in that building there, but we ignore them. We ignore them. This might work for you, you know, quite comfy. Yeah, I'll take it. Why not? It's better than the tent I was sleeping in. Yeah, but... Yeah. Seriously, you could have said something. We had a search party looking for you, a blue berets. We had a massive war oh, with no, bandits. I saw them. And... I, I, I saw them and I heard them screaming my name and I just thought, oh, wow. Must be fanboys or something, you know? You know how it is. What is wrong with you? I mean, I, after, after we were getting ambushed and shot at, I decided I needed a break from the whole business life. So while you ran the one way, I decided just to sneak oh, off the other way. Wait, I just remembered. We haven't delivered any guns to Fudgy. Problem solved, Mr. Spell. Pro you had them on your back. Oh my yeah, gosh. Yeah, I don't trust that car. Oh, okay. Well, we'll get these delivered to him. We're good there. All right, you keep them yeah, on we you. We don't have any car, but we can. Yeah, we'll just run know, to the safe zone. Swim. Yeah, we'll be. No, what? <laughs> We're not going to swim again. Also, oh, where did you come from? I don't know. The water. <laughs> I was camping on that island over there, actually. You see that thing in the middle? What? That's how I found you. I was looking for, for whales in the river and I saw you in your house. <laughs> whales in the river. <laughs> Hello, my name is Mr. Spowell and today I'm here with Brad Boy. Finally, <gasps> he's returned. It's been too long, Bradley. I can't believe you disappeared. And welcome back to another episode of Unturned Life. I'm not sure what we've got planned for this episode, but first off, we've got to deliver the guns, Bradley, which thankfully you've got on you, which is very, very nice. And if you're not already subscribed, I'd really appreciate if you hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell button. Brad Boy's done it on 67 accounts and counting. You know, trying to go up to 69, aren't you, bro? I'm trying to hit 20k by the end of September, which is a ridiculous goal. But we might just hit it. So please subscribe. And if you're interested in getting on turn server, you know what to do. Go down below. Check out Pine Hosting. Let's go ahead. Wait. Where's Brad gone? Is he... Has he disappeared again? And get started. Fudgy wanted us to drop off the guns. I think we're about a day behind. What? But what is with all these bikes? I think everyone's become a biker gang now. Nice. Oh, hey, man. Uh, have you seen Boris? Oh, wait, I can hear him. This is me making one of my weird requests. Have you seen any mole people recently? Because we've been deep cleaning for the past few weeks. That's why we haven't had any shows. That's you, bro. Nah. <laughs> so I've got to deal to a right. tattoo right now. A furniture. Ooh, nothing else. You. All right. All right. Oh, do you have the locker? Have fun. So, uh, I do, I do. Okay, good. Sure. Sure. Yeah, yeah. We'll put him in the locker. Right. The easier. All right, all right. Yeah. Oh, no. Look, Ken, Ken, look, I'll, I'll get you the money. I'll get you the money, Ken. It's all good. Look who we found. It's Bradder Boy. He's returned. Oh, it's very loud out there. I can't even hear. I'll just tell him to shut up. Classic strap. Let me out. Everyone shut up. <laughs> I can't hear myself breathe. Shut up. Bloody racketers. I think that works. We got him. We got him. Works every time. That's Mr. Racketer to you. Hey, shut up! Alright, anyways, moving along. Bradder Boy was camping. He wasn't missing. He went camping. You know what? I yeah. didn't even know Brad... Wait, Brad went missing? Wait. I did. I didn't even know I was missing as well. Did you not notice the search parties? No. What? Like, all the Blue Berets were looking for him. Uh, first time I'm hearing of it. What? Same. Same. Well, yeah, no, Brad noticed the search parties. That's what's bad. He saw him and then oh, decided yeah. not to say anything. Anyways, Anyways that's why that's we're why late. We're late. Yeah. yeah, we're, we're a, day a day late on your gun, gun, gun delivery, delivery, but what? we have we them have here them for, you. for you. Hang on a minute, that's not what I ordered. Whoa, 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 whoa! whoa. What? I didn't order any devil's bane. Brad, did you? <laughs> oh, did you mess up hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. 
<laughs> Wait, what did you order? I might have forgotten. I might need a locker. Did you bring the large locker? Oh, yeah, no, we got that. We got oh, the large locker. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll make you a deal. Since we're giving you a free locker, can we give you the Devil's Banes instead? We have we have a mixture of guns, a whole array of them. Okay, all right. You know what? I accept. I'm not really too fussed in what you give me. I thought I was just getting assault rifles, but you know what? It doesn't really matter too much. It's all going to sell either way. We threw in some nice snipers and assault rifles and a nice Devil's Bane for you. Lovely. Cheers, fellas. Let me place this locker somewhere. Hopefully next bit time bad. we're a bit better at delivering. This was a... Yeah, a bit... A bit bad, but it's That's fine. Alright, it happens. Oh, I tell you what, it's way quieter now, isn't it? It is. <laughs> <laughs> Works every time. I might buy something from Fudgy's store, you know. No, bad. We just made profit. We don't want to spend it instantly. Uh. Mm. Oh my. Ooh, okay. I do like that. Can I get that, please? Can I? <laughs> please. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get it, Bradley. What was that voice, by the way? Uh. It was my begging voice. Wait, do it again? Please. <laughs> <laughs> all right, fellas. All guns now stored away. Much appreciated for your business. I'm sure we can, uh, you know, work together in the future as well. On some more deals. Oh, yes. Yep. Um, What do you actually want? Do you want to order your next delivery now? I don't know how fast you sell. Mm, I'll tell you what. I already have quite a lot in stock. Since you guys just delivered the goods. So, I'll be in touch. Don't you worry. I have a strong feeling that I will be buying some more very soon. Very nice. I see you've actually sold quite a lot since I was last here. These shelves are looking a bit empty. Glad we finally yeah, got well, you stuck. I, I did actually move a couple of things. Um, I'm going to be honest, guys. There is another gun dealer around. All right. Oh. Um, What's his name? I can kill him. Well, he kind of looks like you in a way. Just with longer, longer hair. Um... Put it down, bro. So, so hey, yeah. no, hey. No, 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 it's okay, it's okay. It's okay, all right? He buys them really, really cheap, and it's not really worth my time. So don't worry. It's fine. I'm not really going to be working with that mm. guy anyway. No, sure. Right. Okay. I'll leave you two to it. Like I said, I'll be in touch when I want to buy more furniture. Whoa. Um, what is going on out is here? This the guy? Can, can I what? help you guys? Oh, you need me for a second. Oh. Uh, we're actually here for Mr. Stamo. Oh, I got a minute. Wait, wait, wait. I've, I've just realized something. Uh, Stamo, we need you. We, we need to have a talk. Oh, okay. We'll be just a sec. I'll just... Uh... Are you in trouble, Stamo? I, I don't think so. No, he isn't. Now nah, the Reapers are friendly. They're nice. Alright, Stamo, uh, do you want to go to Bunker or do you want to go to your cave? We don't care. We just need to play. Ah. Uh... I don't really mind, to be honest. Uh, you lead the way, bunker. it'd be fine. I, I, okay, no, alright. I, I, I guess we're going to the bunker. Well, there's a lot more people this time. This uh, this must be pretty serious, whatever it is. Yeah, we're getting, we're getting more and more organized too. Yeah, this place is uh, never gets old. It's always very cool coming down here. Ooh. Maybe this is just about business, you're not in trouble or anything. I mean, we helped you last time for a while. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you never know, to be honest. Uh, we did steal a Blue Beret helicopter. Well, Brad did. I blame that on Brad. It's all Brad's fault. But I saw you have found Brad, finally. Yeah, he was I camping. I don't know what he was doing. He was camping. Brad, you were camping in the middle of the I was. It was quite nice. Ooh. Oh, there's no security in the front anymore. Okay. Yeah, this looks quite different. Oh, my. Okay. Jeez. This looks really different. Wow. All right. right. Every, everybody go back to your usual business down here. Uh, Sun and Bright, you can come up to my office. Here we are. I will beat your meeting. <laughs> <So> <laughs> Guys, yeah, we got slapped afterwards. So I heard about you um, actually having trouble with getting guns since your last delivery was kind of interrupted. Yeah, it's alright because Brad had a bunch of guns on his back, so he managed to do it, but not quite what he asked for. But hey ho, at least we got the money and we got it delivered eventually. So um, we can basically help you out with the guns. Just for a, a small price because you're actually a good customer. Actually, we do need 
we do need staff. Are any of you guys good at driving and delivering things? I mean, we can do that. We have bought new vehicles. We will also get claimed. How about we hire you guys every time we need a delivery? You act as our bodyguards, you drive the vehicles, and you kind of just handle all of the hard work, and we just manufacture the guns. If you can do that. Sounds good to me. Cool. Okay, well, I'll get in touch with you on the radio then sometime. Just before our next delivery, uh, yeah. then you can give us a price. Oh yeah, we uh, we also got a heist room. If you want a little tour, we can do that right now. You don't. Oh to yes, the heist room, one? that sounds... The high exciting. Is the other construction because we are actually planning on robbing people. Oh. This is actually where we plan everything out. It's still a construction. There will be a lot more. Ooh, actually, you know, next <laughs> time you do a big here. heist, why don't we uh, get involved? You know, two extra hands. I mean, why not? Yeah. So four extra hands, but you know what I mean. Uh, I'm a paraplegic. Well, anyways, this is the heist room still under construction. Nothing much to see here. Where are you planning to rob? Any ideas? Oh, we have planned out this, this thing. We will set down charge on, on the street and as soon as someone drives by with a huge delivery, we will just blow them tiles and then blast open the bag with more charges. Definitely we sounds like we don't want to be messing with these guys. We no, we want to join in. Oh, food! When you have more time, we can actually do a full tour and not like this little crash course I'm doing right now. The armory has quite changed as well. We oh, look at all this. Please. Do you think we can make this, Brad? Could we sell this? Definitely. We have quite a few. Yeah, oh, and you've got Gilly oh, and... Oh, this place is great. Yeah, the Gilly is not done now, but we is that, to get one for Is that a missile? That is a missile, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just hanging over there. Just, yeah, just, just the casually. Just missile hanging on, on, on the wall. <laughs> a little bit sketchy, but I like it. Alright, in a bit, guys. I uh, appreciate the lift, and uh, we'll be getting in touch very, very soon. All right. Great time. All right, you too. See ya. Here's what I'm thinking, Brad. You know how the currency recently changed to dollars? What? Well, it recently changed to dollars, and that uh, means... So what about all my diamond coins, my life savings? You have to exchange them at the bank, and this is where it gets interesting, because everyone in the safe zone and around has been exchanging their diamond coins at the bank, which means the bank has a ridiculous number of diamond coins, a higher number than ever before. So if we rob those diamond coins now, we'll still be able to exchange them and we'll be rich. I think a single diamond coin is around a thousand dollars at current rates. I, I don't know, it's hard to work out, but it's a lot of money. The only problem with that is I don't think the blueberries will be very happy with us. Yeah, but there's the thing, Brad. We sort that out with the Reapers, and we do it disguised, they will never know it's us. All we have to do is dye your ginger hair, and they'll never know it's you, bro. That is true, that is true. We don't talk put marks on. Hmm. You think Boris would be interested? No, uh, maybe, but I mean, if he's not, then that might mess us up a little bit. But a heist would be very, very that nice. Cool. And I know Boris has been struggling for funds a little bit recently. But anyway, thank you everyone so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. As you can see, Bradaboy, it, wait, Bradaboy is back, which is very nice. I can't believe you went camping. And if you're not already subscribed, I'd really appreciate if you hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell button. Just like I hit Brad's face. Got the crazy goal of hitting 20k by the end of September. So I'd really, really appreciate it. And if you're interested in getting on turn server, check out Pine Hosting down below. Me and Bradboy spent a long time setting it up. And feel free to DM any of us in Discord, you know, if you've got any questions. And we'll be happy to help you out. And I'll see you in the next video.